Hi, my name is Noah Gift, and today I'm going to talk about how to use a makefile with GitHub Actions. Why would you want to do this? Well, in a nutshell, it makes it much more simple to get GitHub Actions up and running because you put in a make install, a make lint, a make test, and a make deploy. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's dive into why you'd want to use a makefile and GitHub Actions. In a nutshell, in this case, we have a makefile over here. And what does the makefile do? Well, it collects commands for you, so it simplifies things. Once you've gone through and you have a bunch of commands in here, like, for example, a pip install, uh, what's nice is that you don't have to actually go through and type that every single time. And locally on your uh, environment, let's say it's actually GitHub code spaces, uh, for example, uh, all you need to do is run this, make install, make test, make deploy, and get that working. Once you've got that set up, then go over to your continuous integration server here and then hook in GitHub Actions. And again, it'll be the same step, make install. So really it's a simplification of something you already do and it saves you a ton of time. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at this in the real world. Here we have a Noah Gift GitHub Actions Hello World. What's nice about this project is it has all the things I just talked about. So first up, we have the make file. Again, the whole point here is less work. You put your install command inside of here. It could be different depending on what project you're in. You have a test command, it wraps it up right here. You have a format command, a lint command. You could even go uh, make all as well. Once you've got this set up, the next thing that uh, you wanna do is go to your GitHub workflow right here. And notice in this main file, how simple it is. All I need to do is put this file together and inside I just put a name for what I'm running inside of Python 3.8. I say make install, make lint, make test, right? So you can see it's a massive simplification so I can get up continuous integration running uh, much more quickly. So if I wanna go to this action, let's go ahead and take a look at this. If I go through here and I run the last time I ran this, I can rerun this job. You'll see how simple it is to run this GitHub action because all I needed to do was type in make install, make test, make lint, and it goes through and one by one runs those commands without me having to type in a series of uh, very complex statements that are easy to make mistakes with. So in a nutshell, you can see here that the, the concept of GitHub Actions plus a makefile is really a dream scenario. 